Hello everyone, we're going to be um, doing a tier list on Our full Facebook. Love and Fun Day review is done. We just reviewed it for like four, 40 minutes. Yeah, we did it. We did a we did a review on Fall Love and Fun Day. Now we're going to be doing a tier list on the. the NCU. This NCU. includes the Netflix shows and the. Um, now we haven't. I haven't seen all of them. So some of them, I've I've seen most things. So you should probably rank like Daredevil, Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah, Jessica yeah. Jessica Jones. I've always been interested in watching Jessica Jones. I don't know why. It's fucking amazing. It's because fucking David Tennant is in it, and I've seen clips. He, he's funny. Yeah, that's the main reason why Kilgrave. I give a shit about Doctor Who again because David Tennant's back. Kilgrave, I think his name. Yes. Is. Yep, Kilgrave. One of the best villains in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. I haven't seen any of those, so it'll probably just be Wallace giving opinions and ranking them. But this isn't in order right now. Um, it's kind of random. It, we also have the Venom films. Yeah, and the Spider-Man ones. Uh, I have seen Venom one and two. The thing is, they technically do count as MCU films now, apparently, because of No Way Home. And I know you would think, well, wouldn't the X-Men films count because they appeared in, in Doctor Strange? Well, that Professor X was not the exact same Professor X in the X-Men films, so no, yeah, not I've really. Um. No. Okay, I've only seen Venom. This just means we're going to be talking about each and every film now. Yeah, we'll try not to make it as long as Four Love and Thunder. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that was our first ever conversation about the film. So we end up reviewing the entire MCU, okay? Welcome to Q and and Wallace reviews because we've been the people talking. Larry Shit was trying to defend Four Love and Thunder with Wallace's points. He managed to save some of it, but the final point was too big. Yeah. No one in the world can defeat that. Maybe. Maybe Kevin Feige can, or the directors, or the writers of Fall of Thunder can beat us for that, but... So, um... Let's start with Ant-Man and the Wasp, eh? Yep. A film I personally really fucking liked. I so. don't remember this, so I'll kind of let you rank ahead. Right. I'll just say now I love the special effects, especially the scene when they go into Quantum Realm, because I love how scientifically accurate it is, because we see actual... Things like tardigrades. Oh shit! I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think things are sort of my jujubes. We see like actual tardigrades and stuff, and it's so fucking cool to me. I don't know. Um. Also, the guy who plays that one guy in Batman v Superman is in this film, and he was actually good, and he was good in those films as well. Uh, I don't really remember, I don't know his name, but I liked him in the film. I don't know why else he was in. Altogether, I think this film was actually good. I don't know, I enjoyed it. So. I don't remember how it goes, but... When it comes to flaws, I know, I, I know I saw a video about its many problems. It's one of those typical MCU films that kind of has a few plot holes and stuff, which is no fucking surprise, but I don't remember what they are, but I'm still gonna say, I'm still gonna treat this as if it does have a lot. I just can't say for certain that they were. Mm. But they probably do have them, so for me, I'm gonna cut the, put this in C. C? Yeah. That's really well. Really well. I didn't even make it to the middle. <laughs> Yeah, I like it, but there's definitely I'm I'm there's gonna be films I know I'm gonna like more. 